Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 22nd of 2023, well, it is titled Cosmos in Reflection. So what do we see here? Well, in the foreground here on Earth, we see a number of mirrors. So this is actually a set of 12,000 large mirrors as part of a solar thermal power plant out in the Gobi Desert. And these mirrors during the day will actually turn to track the sun and focus that sunlight on the central power central tower of the power station. So that is one way to gather power from the sun with these large number of mirrors all working together and all set up to track the sun over the course of the day. Of course, at night, they don't track the sun since that would be below the horizon. But here we get a nice image of them along with a number of stars. And with longer exposures, the stars will form trails in the sky. And in fact, each star will form a circular pattern moving around the sky over the course of the night. Now, the central point, which would be up above this image would be, in this case, the North Pole. So the North Pole, very close to the star Polaris, would be the central point around which everything seems to rotate. And that is essentially the extension of the Earth's North Pole out into space. So the closer a star is to the pole, the smaller the circle it makes. Polaris itself is very close to the pole, and while you can't see it here, it's not exactly at the pole, so it would be making a very small circle around the pole itself. As you get farther and farther away, those circles get larger, and the first sets will become circumpolar, meaning that they never rise or set from that location, but always remain in the sky. For those at a northerly latitudes, well above the equator, these are things like Polaris and the Big and Little Dippers, which will always remain above the horizon for viewers at relatively northerly latitudes. Now, other objects, as those circles get bigger, as stars get more and more distant from the pole, and we look at stars further down, we will see stars where they start to intersect the horizon. And those are stars that will rise and set over the course of the year. So for northerly latitudes, this could be something like the constellation of Orion the Hunter. Orion, a very prominent winter constellation, is one that can be seen to rise and set over the course of the day. So sometimes it is in the sky, sometimes it is not. However, for, for, for those northerly latitudes, things like the Big Dipper can always be seen. And if you know where to look for it, you will see it regardless of what time of year you are looking. So that was our picture of the day for September 22nd of 2023. It was titled Cosmos in Reflection. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be analog analemmas afternoon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.